Welcome to the first winner bin of NHL 24. Today, if I lose my Hockey Ultimate Team game, I have to discard Sidney Crosby's player, X Factor off my team. Any this is a series I've done on the channel for a couple years now. Get some extra gameplay going with some even higher stakes. And normally, this would be done against somebody in my Discord. So normally, I would play one of my viewers. So if you're ever interested in being in one of these videos and trying to make me quick sell a player off my team, the link to my Discord is down below. But today, we're just going to hop into a Hot Rivals game. That way, it's random. We get to get the first game out of the way and put Crosby on the line. Here he is, one of my favorite cards in the entire game. If you guys don't know, Crosby was actually my favorite card in all of NHL 23. And if I lose here today, I've got to put this card in the bin and get rid of it for good. So let's go ahead and hop into a game of Hot Rivals. Now, if you guys want to see more gameplay on the channel, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Let's find an opponent. Five minutes later. All right, we have a game. We're playing Shaker DD. Looks like he's a Leafs fan. Wish me luck. You guys don't know I only use untradeable players on my team because it's easier for me to make videos and whatnot when I have extra coins from everything that I pull, right? So, that being said, if I end up losing, you know, top tier cards like X-Factor Crosby and whatnot, what a big D play. Um, if I end up losing cards like Crosby, I end up really hurting my team and it makes it harder to get packs and whatnot. I guarantee you there are people who want to see me lose. Another big D play. March, I just, I almost just gave him a free goal. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is a winner bin. Be smarter. Oh, okay. Scores. Luke Robitaille on the rebound. I just activated his X-Factor before this game. Decided to play with the team for a little bit. And he gets the close quarters goal. And we're up one nothing, just like that. It's a really good start for us. But uh, honestly, he could have scored there as well. So got to get lucky here. But so far, so good. Good poke there. Otherwise, it's probably a tie game. But the other way, we got Poulin. MSP Poulin brings it in to Sakic. And a great poke on uh, defense there by Jaker. And a great poke here by us, by Murphy. No, it's a defensive battle so far. Now Crosby's on the line and he's out there on the ice. See what we can do with him. We got that beauty backhand ability active, of course. One of my favorite abilities in the game. He fakes the clapper. Oh, what a big save by Markstrom. Another big save by Markstrom. And somehow that goes in. Oh, man. Couple big saves there by Marky, but he couldn't keep it out. Somehow it bounced around and found the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. All right, Puck is there. I mean, I mean, ref. Ref, I have a case. He kicks my glove. I have a case here. That's got to be goalie interference or something. Come on. Power play incoming. Let's see if we can get ourselves back on the board. Give us that lead. We're up by one. Nope. One man advantage. Let's see if we can score here. I'm going to look. You know what? I'm going to send that across. And try and get the puck back. But try and get this pressure going. Okay. Yep. Keep it in. Good stuff. Almost have full pressure. Send it down low. Oh my god. He missed the puck. Otherwise, I don't know. That could have been a really good opportunity. Here he comes the other way. Two on one. And what a save again by Markstrom. If you guys need a goalie, Jacob Markstrom is the man. And here comes Marner, and he gets easily bumped off that puck. Marner again gets trucked. One second left. Throw it on goal, but that's going to do it for your first period. We're tied at one, heading into the second. Your stats after one, fairly even, a little bit in his uh, on his edge here. But take a look at the team. We've got 85 Nylander. Of course, we know it's base Matthews and Fox. He's got the team builder Gianta. Uh, 86 Hemschke, 86 Sackick, 85 Crosby. So we have him on the line. He's also on this guy's team. He's got a pretty solid squad. Doesn't have like the big names, Gretzky, Lemieux, or anything like that. And goalie today is going to be Linus Allmark. We got to solve him. 23 seconds left on the power play. I don't know if we're able to get anything done here, but let's see. We've got Timu Solani, gold wheels, bring it into the zone. Send that through. Oh my God, that was wide open, but I couldn't connect. Good steal. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Eisman on the forehand. Couldn't put that one through the five hole, unfortunately. Another good opportunity. Good poke. Here we go. That's Timu. He's got gold wheels. So as long as he got some open ice, he's going to fly. And he has that open ice. And here he comes on the backhand. Gets poked off his stick there. If I had total control, I would go for a Michigan. Don't have to. Steve Eisman sitting out in front. And we make it a 2-1 game. Stevie Y with the celebration, of course. We're up by one. Big goal here in the second period as we take the lead again. Now let's see if we can add to it. Poulin brings it in. Finds Sackick. Back to Poulin. No! I missed that pass. I want to have to go to Poulin so I can get that one uh, more of a shovel shot out front. That's a, that's a shame. 
Missed the hit there. Jaker, don't score, buddy. I need to keep this Crosby, all right? I need to keep... Stop. Stop it. Markstrom with another big save. And again, I play it. What am I doing? I'm not used to being on uh, winter bin here, and I'm not used to having to cover the puck, but it's probably the smart play in these series. Oh, what a play. Poulin back to Sakic, and he gets the goal as we are up 3-1 to one here in the second period. A little bit of a, a broken play that leads to a nice passing play. I'll take it. Oh, what a shot. That goes in. Sakic snipes one. Second of the game there, and we're up 4-1 to one here in the second period. What a shot. Now we're taking over. Now we're getting the back of the net here. Got a little bit unlucky there in the first, I feel like, but we're starting to come into our own. Let's see if we can put this guy away. Here comes Timu Solani without those wheels, and oh, man. Backhand shot, and Solani scores. Everything's going in. We've officially solved Allmark as we're now up 5-1 to one here in the second period. And now, oh my god, that okay, it's still going to turn into a breakaway somehow. Not able to score on it, but his defense is just falling apart. All Mark is being left out to dry, and we are taking advantage. Are right, we going to win this one back. We're going to go down low, and then we're going to pass it. Oh, I mean, he's just going to let me walk towards the net there. I got to pay more attention because the defense was nowhere near the net. I almost feel like he's not playing a uh, collapsing defense here, which is allowing me to just walk by him, and nobody's, like, covering the net. It's been very interesting so far. We'll see what happens here on the power play, but so far, he's not really protecting the front of the net at all. This could really just come down to a strategies issue, issue for this guy. This guy might win a lot more games if he played around with his strategies. You know, keep the players in front of the net to block, you know, one-timers or rebounds and stuff like that. You can't just leave them open. Looks like he's playing maybe a staggered defense. I would definitely switch to collapsing if I was in his case, because I have exploited that just a little bit so far this game, but... I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and claim like I'm some incredible person who knows everything about the game. I'm not like some incredible player. I, it's just something that I've noticed in this game specifically. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's playing too high up near the point. He's definitely playing a staggered or a... Uh, I don't think he's playing tight point. He's definitely playing a staggered defense. And I think that is going to be his downfall in this game as we're going to head into the third period. Up by two. As Connor McDavid scores... Or Connor McDavid. I'm an idiot. Connor Bedard scores... With 0.3 seconds left, I thought the period was over. Didn't even bother trying to uh, contest the shot. Just played the pass the entire time. That's my own fault. Your stats after two. Time and attack now in our favor. Shots now in our favor. We're out hitting, out winning face-offs. We were definitely playing a little bit better than this guy. I was not uh, prepared for that final goal, though. He is not out of this game. As you can see here, I kind of just laxed daisily. Played defense here. Didn't even contest the pass and uh, or contest the shot. Sorry. With 0.3 seconds left, so it's not over yet. Up by three in the third. We score a goal. That'll be the dagger. That'll be the game. If he scores a goal, he can come right back in this one. So let's get that goal, shall we? Here we go. Solani, pick it up. Yep. Solani. In. I got to send it across. Robitai was wide open for it. Of course, I got to give it to him. And we are up by four here in the third period. That probably should be the dagger. I don't want to score only cross creases and one times when they're open, you got to take them. Especially in a game like this where, like, Crosby's on the line. Gotta score any way I can, you know what I mean? Let's get Crosby out there. I want to get him a goal. I don't think I've done anything with Crosby this game, have I? Well, let's find out. Sidney Crosby with the puck. Let's see if we can get him a backhand goal. I love that. Oh my god, he just got killed. He might not want to be on the team after that hit. He may want to go play somewhere else. Well, one the other way. And Markstrom makes the big save there. Markstrom's just been good. He's not been, like, a crazy goalie, but, like, he makes the saves when he has to. Allows a lot of weak ones. But look at that, man. What a glove save by Markstrom. Pick him up. He's, like, 1,500 coins. Solani's just ridiculously fast, and he scores. He got that goal wheels on him. He is going to fly, and that is another goal assisted by Markstrom. That's the game. All right, guys, that'll do it for this one. We win by five, and Sidney Crosby will remain with the team. Those are your final stats. We ended up taking over after that first period, feeling pretty good. Sidney Crosby did not have a point in the game, and not only that, he was actually a minus one, but do you know what? I'm going to take it. Now, guys, you let me know down below who you want to see on the line in the next winner bin. Will it be Timu Solani, Eisman, or Robitaille, or any one of these other players? We got Sidney Crosby on the third line now after having a terrible game. But 
here is the rest of the team let me know down below who you want to see on the line don't pick markstrom do not pick the goalie it doesn't matter but regardless i'm out of here i appreciate you watching don't forget to join the discord if you ever want a chance to make me quick sell a player off my team and of course if you guys want to see someone like eiserman or solani or robitai on the line leave a comment down below let me know who anyways guys thanks for watching stay frosty